Deborah, thank you for the first super chat. She wants to know if we build computers or console for retail subscribers. And then her other question is when the i9 59, a 15900K uh, series uh, comes out with a 5090 video card, build now or wait? Buy Windows 10 Professional for $15, activate instantly online with Microsoft, and keep it forever. Don't pay full price. Get the best deal from our sponsor, URCD Keys, using our link in the video description below. Full details on how this amazing deal works at the end of the video. That is a great question, and it actually kind of leads into what I was going to talk about, but I will address this specifically. Um, no, we do not build computers for viewers. We don't do consultations. I have thought about it. We've debated back and forth. The challenge is this. With all due respect, if I wanted to do one-on-one -on -one consultations, I would do them for businesses. They pay more. I used to do that. I used to do computer networking installs and upgrade consultations for businesses. They just pay more. Individuals, could I find five viewers who'd be willing to pay a reasonable rate for that? Sure. But I can't find enough to turn that into a business. Yeah, I, that's a lot of time. My first real computer job was, oh dear God, 31 years ago. <laughs> Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Wow. I worked at a small mom and pop computer shop 31 years ago for about a year. It's my first real computer job. I was in sales. I did a little bit of support, but I was mostly in sales. It was an amazing experience. It got me started on my entire trip down everything. Learning, and, and they custom built machines for customers. Back in the 80s, this mom and pop shop used to be a, a compact store. They would sell compact computers as resale. But of course, by the 90s, this started to go away, and then they started custom building machines. Mm -hmm. And so I got to see the process of customizing machines, prices, parts, what people would buy, and it was a learning experience like no other. Was I in over my head the first few months? Yes. <laughs> yes. Did, I, did I learn a lot? Oh, wow, that was an education like no other. Now, the interesting thing about that experience was that you could sit there for an hour with an individual talking to them about their one computer. Yes. Or you could sit there for an hour talking to somebody about, about their office of computers. <laughs> and I figured out very quickly which one of those two paid the most. Here's the other factor to consider. Those mom and pop shops are largely gone. Yeah. And do you know why they're gone? Computers got cheaper. Yep. And people want the lowest price and online became a thing. Computer Shopper and Computer Magazines existed before then. Uh, Dell got their start uh, selling computers, you know, via mail order back before the internet existed. But when the internet took off and the big box stores started carrying PCs and the prices came down, like the e-machines in the late 90s when they were $399, $499, $599, mm -hmm. you could just go buy a computer. Yep. You... People didn't want to pay for support. And the mom and pop shops all started to disappear because people were like, well, I can buy it cheaper online. You can, but here's the challenge. Yeah. People have a computer now and they have a problem and there's nowhere to take it. No, there's not. Imagine if all the auto mechanics went away. Oh. Imagine if all cars could be bought online, all dealerships and all mechanics vanished because everything was just ordered online. Although I have to say, you used to see a lot more mechanic shops than you do now. So, Fair enough. but yeah, but I, I understand what you're saying. So, do I think I could find five people? Yes. Do I think I could find 500 people? No. And, I, and it would take 500 people to make it work. And that would be a lot of work. Um, to answer your second question, it's not going to be called the 15900K, just FYI. It is 15th gen, but it's not. They're, yeah, they're, they're going ultra seven or It's now going to be the second ultra chip. Yeah. It's, yeah. They're renaming and dumping the existing product line names. Yeah. Um, it is coming out probably October of this year. The 5090 is probably coming out about October of this year. Would I buy Arrow Lake at launch? That is a great question. It is. If you're a business? Here's the problem with Arrow Lake. Alder Lake. 
Having given this a lot of thought, we've been doing YouTube now for how long? Eight years in March. Oh dear God. You're right, eight years? Mm -hmm. Couple weeks. So, buy the last chip Intel releases on each socket, not the first. The 12th gen was interesting when it launched, but the 13th was so much better. The 9th gen, the, okay, the exception is the 11th gen. Rocket Lake was stupid. That was, yeah. Was stupid. Intel had a lot of problems there, but 8th and 9th, those were both on the 300 series motherboard. The 8700K very quickly got swamped by the 9900K. Mm -hmm. I guess it doesn't apply to the 1 and 200 series. It does on first gen. A little bit on second, but not really. Man, it's so hit and miss. Intel needs to start supporting the motherboards more than they do. The then, lack of upgrade support. Yeah. Here's, here's my concern with Air Lake. I actually have... Um, we're going to be talking about the 14900K here in just a minute. Um, here's the thing. I know Arrow Lake is coming. I don't actually mind this chip. Arrow Lake will be faster than this. But it might not be as fast as you think it is. This is 24 cores. Arrow Lake is going to be 24 cores. Yep. Arrow Lake, by all accounts, will not have hyper-threading. It's going to be 24 threads. The 14900K is 32 threads. Mm, okay. Arrow Lake might be a side grade. It's a big change. It's a big update, but it might not really be a big up, upgrade. Great. Yep. So you might just buy 14900K and, and wait until you see what the last LGA 1851 chip is. This is LGA 1700, that's the socket. The new socket is it's LGA 1851, and 1851 will probably last for a couple of gens. And so you might wait for the last one of that. Because then they'll have everything worked out. Well, and they'll also have more cores. Because by then, Zen 6 will be out with 32 cores. Mm -hmm. Which we don't know yet if it's going to be 32P cores, or if it's going to be 32P and, or 16P e. and 16C. Not E, because they do the C's. This Correct. Is the, that's complicated. Let's not go down that rabbit hole. But my understanding is that's what's going to happen with Zen 5. Um, you can wait for it, but it would suck to wait. For, let me give you an analogy. What CPU did Intel release in 2013? You're going to have to remind me. Haswell. 14, uh, 14. As well. Four. I7 4770K. 2013. That was 10, 11 years ago? That was a big upgrade over Ivy Bridge because they added some instructions to it and fixed some other issues. Sandy and Ivy were okay, but Haswell was a decent upgrade. We didn't notice it at the time so much, but you do now. Right. I have a 12600, I have a 12. Intel and their stupid product names. I have a, a, an i7-2600K and I have an i7-4770K. He does. The difference is more apparent today because the second and third gen are missing some instructions that they added to uh, uh, F16C, FMA. Yeah, when you look at CPU Monkey, it tells you what they've included and what they haven't. CPU World in that case, but I know what you mean. Oh, CPU World. CPU World lists the instruction differences. Oh, okay. But there's some, there's some differences there that are missing that really hurt today. What did they release in 2014? Oh. Uh, well, if it was the 4790 or 4770, then it'll be the 65, the 6 series. 4790K. Oh, the 47, oh, okay. What was really released in 2014 was Broadwell, which was the fifth gen. But Broadwell was the first chip on 14 nanometer. Haswell was on 22 nanometer, as was Ivy Bridge, but that's a separate conversation. So Haswell was 22 nanometer, Broadwell was 14 nanometer, but 14 nanometer was not ready. And so they needed some- Which is where the 47- You notice there's no I7-5700K. No. There's no. There were, the fifth, there were fifth gen chips, and there was an i7-5 chip, but it wasn't a K chip. 
They couldn't get the clock speeds right. right. They could not, it's the same reason we have 14th gen. The next gen chips weren't ready. They would not have been faster. Intel is not going to release a new chip that's slower than last year's chip. How stupid would that look? Yeah. They just won't. And so Devil's Canyon yeah. was Haswell Refresh. Mm-hmm. We have both of those we in do. the two big towers in the Corsair 750 Obsidian 750Ds. Yeah. So the 4790K is just a clock speed refresh of 4770K. They're basically the same chip. The difference is the 4770K, all core turbo out of the box is 3.6, and the 4790K, all core turbo out of the box is 4.0. Oh. They will both go higher, but yeah. that's what they're set to. That was 2014. Yes. 2015 is when Skylight came out. Which is the 6. The 6700K, that's on 14 nanometer. What do you think the all-core turbo of Skylake is? Four. I was going to say. Is it it's the exact same clock speed as the Devil's Canyon refresh, the 4790K. Fun fact. To this day, I still can't tell the difference between a 4790K and a 6700K. There you go. They are, they are so close in performance, it is disgusting. Now, to be fair, there were a few tweaks and optimizations to make it 3% faster or whatever three. in a benchmark. Oh, that's this 5% increase. Oh, it, would, it wasn't even that good. It was bad. Three. And then the next year in 2016, they released i7-7700K, yeah. which had a 4.2 all-core turbo. And then Same the chip. 8700. Well, the 87 added cores, and that's separate. But the point is, if you had skipped the 4770 or 4790 because Skylake was coming, you waited for nothing. Yeah. To this day, if a viewer were to tell me they have a 4770K, 4790K, 6700K, or 7700K, they are all the same thing to me. Even though technically different process and slightly different, they're, they're, they're the same chip. So I would argue, from everything I've seen so far on Arrow Lake, it's Broadwell and Skylake all over again. It's nothing special. You guys are waiting for a disappointment. Lunar Lake, Meteor Lake, Beast Lake... Then that gets They'll get there. They will get there. But I'm no longer particularly excited about this Air Lake launch. I, no, I, think, I think people are going to be shockingly disappointed. If you're ready to build, I actually think that the 4790K is this generation's i7 4790K refresh. She, uh, she's got a follow-up question. We'll get to you in a second, Deborah. Hang on. I think this, I, I have no way of knowing for sure. My, I do have a Magic 8-Ball, but it's not real. It's just a plastic toy, sorry. But my gut from having done this for a very long time is that it's going to be two or three years before we see an Intel chip that truly makes you go, that was worth waiting for. Mm-hmm. Because if Arrow Lake is 5 or 10% faster than 4790K, 14, uh, 14900K, but loses hyper threading, right. requires a new motherboard and socket, is more expensive, what you wait for? People do it all the time. Furthermore, she mentioned she has a 12900K. How much did you pay for your 12900K? How much is it worth now? The top end chip on Intel platform holds value. The bottom end chip does not. Looking for a Windows 10 or 11 product key, but you don't want to spend $100 to $200 for it? Our sponsor, URCD Keys, provides discounted Windows keys at amazing prices. $15 for Windows 10 Professional, $21 for Windows 11 Professional, and just $60 for Microsoft Office 2021 Professional Plus. These product keys are the real deal. They activate directly with Microsoft Online, link to your Microsoft account, and they work forever. For Windows, you simply go to Settings, Update and Security, Activation, click Change Product Key, paste the key provided by URCD Keys, and in seconds, you're activated with Microsoft. For Office, go to setup.office.com, sign in with your Microsoft account, paste the product key provided by URCD Keys, and then download Office 2021 Pro Plus directly from Microsoft. 
Remember to use the discount code TD20 to save 25% off the already deeply discounted prices and support our channel at the same time. We have been using product keys from URCD Keys for almost five years now without any issues and encourage you to do so as well.